Hello students and welcome to Sarvsa's classes. My name is Ashmita and in today's class we are going to solve uh, questions based on sentence completion. And these kind of questions are quite common in the uh, GRE examinations and also uh, competitive examinations where English forms uh, a compulsory part and you are going to get these kind of questions mostly in the compulsory sections of English in the entrance examinations. So uh, let us uh, uh, get to understand what you all have to uh, do over here basically. So uh, first of all what you need to do over here is uh, understand that these are just simple fill in the blanks now you won't be able to understand the full meaning of the uh, sentence which is given to you unless and until you uh, put the correct word okay these are these are the options uh, in all the questions uh, options would be given five options would be given and you just need to put the correct option one by one you need to check the options and then you will be able to see that uh, the correct option which is making a sense to this uh, to the extract above that word you are going to choose so basically it's a multiple choice question uh, set and we are going to solve it let's start number 11 now in a happy somewhat boisterous uh, celebration of the european discovery of america the major phase of the columbus sin cinquecentennial got off to dash start on friday so they are talking about a boisterous, boisterous celebration. Now boisterous means kind of noisy, energetic or you can say cheerful or lively, active, anything uh, which shows excitement. All right. So boisterous, uh, you can say it's kind of energetic. You can also say kind of gusty or blustery or gusting. Um, celebration of the European discovery of America the major phase of the okay they were celebrating a very like in a, in a very energetic way the European discovery of America and uh, the major phase of the Columbus Cinquecentennial got off to dash start on Friday they were talking about a Columbus Cinquecentennial now Columbus Cinquecentennial means actually this took place in the year 1992 and it was the 500th anniversary. All right. This was the 500th anniversary uh, of Christopher Columbus's 1492 uh, uh, arrival in America. So this was the celebration of 1492 uh, arrival of Christopher Columbus in America. This is Columbus uh, Cinquecentennial. This was a celebration. And uh, so we can, uh, we have to put one by one these words to make the sentence complete. Now, the first word is slow. If I put slow, uh, the major phase of the Columbus Cinquecentennial got off to a slow start on Friday. See, they are talking about a boisterous celebration. So definitely it won't uh, start slowly. It, it would start in a like gusty way or a very energetic way. So we have to choose some word which will look like like quite, quite excitement is there, quite energy is there. So slow will definitely not go. Let us put uh, number B, arousing. The major phase of the Columbus Cinquet, uh, Centennial got off to a dash start on Friday. Uh, got off to a rousing start. Now rousing means kind of like exciting or brewing you can say or stirring. So I am writing down uh, rousing means brewing. Brewing means kind of like uh, kind of energy or booster which is just just bubbling out, which is just starting. The energy is pouring out slowly and steadily. So that's rousing. Uh, we can say this will go as it is going with the meaning of boisterous celebration. Let us see the other options also. If we find anything better than number B option, then definitely we will go for those options. Otherwise, we will stick to number B. What about reluctant? Now, reluctant means unwilling or hesitant or you can say disinclined. So, in simple words, reluctant means hesitant. So, uh, if I put uh, reluctant over here, uh, that is uh, the major phase of the Columbus Cinquecentennial got off to a hesitant start. No, they are not. They, this is just not going. Why? Because uh, 
it's not a, a hesitating start. It, they were talking about an energetic celebration. So definitely it is not a hesitating start. So I'm crossing out number C. What about number D and indifferent? Now indifferent means kind of having no particular interest in something. Or you can also say having no sympathy. Or you can also say unconcerned about something. Or you can also say neither good or, or bad. Like you do not have a... Uh, any good feelings or bad feelings about something, you have a mixed feeling. So uh, you can say uh, indifferent, uh, if, if I put the major phase of the Columbus Cinquecentennial got off to an indifferent, uh, indifferent start on Friday. Obviously not because they were talking about an energetic celebration. So this will also not go. Indifferent means I don't unconcerned. What about quiet? Quiet meaning you all know. If I put quiet, the major phase of the Columbus Cinquecentennial got off to a quiet start. Once again, quiet won't go. Why? Because they were talking about a boisterous celebration which means quite bustling or quite energetic or quite uh, like uh, exciting uh, celebration was going on. So number B would be the correct option over here. And question number 12, in one shocking instance of DASH research, one of the nation's most influential researchers in the field of genetics reported on experiments that were never carried out and published deliberately. DASH scientific papers on his non-existent work. Now, uh, what, what are they talking about is that um, they are talking about a shocking instance, like shocking uh, event uh, of DASH research. Now, we don't know what kind of research is that. And it was the uh, nation's most influential researchers who, uh, m who was in the field of genetics and who reported on experiments that were never carried out, basically. Uh, but they were published deliberately so that uh, the scientific papers uh, or the scientific research can be carried on. So uh, if we need to make a proper sense from the extract above, then we need to put these words and check which one is suiting the best over here. Now, what is the meaning of comprehensive? Let us check the first uh, option and put it in the blanks provided. If we put uh, comprehensive, comprehensive means in a bit of details, in a detailed manner. So comprehensive is detailed. What about abstract? Now, abstract means something which is like uh, uh, like conceptual or you can say theoretical. So basically, this is also uh, kind of in details. All right. So you can also say speculative or notional. So if I put in one shocking instance of comprehensive research uh, uh, that were never carried out and published deliberately, uh, abstract scientific papers. No, not at all. This won't go. So I'm striking it out. What about option number B? Now, a theoretical and challenging. You all know the meaning of theoretical. It means like in details, in theory. So I'm not writing it down. Challenging. Now, obviously, challenging means uh, like kind of uh, something which provides you with a challenge. So if I put challenging scientific papers on his non-existing work, uh, then also it won't go. It is not making any proper meaning. So I'm striking it out. What about option number C? Fraudulent and deceptive. Now, fraudulent means kind of dishonesty or cheating or simply fraud also, you can say. Uh, it like kind of involving deception. Deception means like lie, false. I'm writing down lies. So, uh, let us check, uh, let us know the meaning of deceptive also. Deceptive means uh, giving an impression which is like uh, not true or kind of misleading, you can say. It is not true and it is very much different from the uh, like from the from the original one so it, you can say it's misleading what about okay so this one is going if we put uh, fraudulent and deceptive over here that is in one shocking instance of fraudulent research um, this was found that uh, misleading scientific papers were published so this can go but if uh, we know that we have to choose a better option the most uh, uh, the most like uh, the best option we have to choose which will go properly which will make us uh, sense to, which will give a sense to the sentence above 
So let us uh, check number D and E also. Derivative and authoritative. Now derivative means you are deriving something from the original. All right. Like um, you can say it's imitative. Like it's not the original. Basically it's a portion of the original. So derivative and what about authoritative? Authoritative means you are dominating. Like uh, kind of reliable or dependable you can say. In simple words we can say like uh, kind of uh, a being, who, a person on whom we can trust. So authoritative uh, is uh, like accurate or you can you can simply say it's uh, reliable. If I put derivative and uh, authoritative that is in one shocking instance of derivative research. No, this won't go. Derivative won't go with research. So I'm striking it out. What about erroneous and impartial? Erroneous means there is something wrong in it or there, there are certain mistakes in it or errors in it. And impartial means like um, which is not biased. It's not partial. It's not biased. So I'm writing down not biased. Uh, so biased scientific research on his non-existing work. No, this won't go also. The best one which is suiting is number C. So number C would be the correct option. Let us move over to uh, question number 13. Now I will be solving question number 13 now. So 13 says measurement is like any other human endeavor. Now endeavor means any kind of uh, try or attempt or you can say uh, venture to set out or to struggle or to undertake anything that you are starting or undertaking. So measurement is like uh, just any other uh, human starting or human work that you are starting, you are struggling to undertake and it is a complex activity which is subject to error. So definitely any kind of measurement be it uh, like uh, litter or kind of um, like meter, anything you are measuring, uh, there can be errors and uh, it, it, it is subjected to errors. So not always used dash and frequently misinterpreted and dash. So this uh, we cannot say the meaning un until we put these words correctly. So let us check the first word uh, that is mistakenly and derided. If we put measurement is uh, like any other measurement is like uh, any other human endeavor. Uh, and it is a complex activity which is uh, not always dash and frequently misinterpreted. So if we put uh, mistakenly, like uh, measurement is like any other human en uh, endeavor, a complex activity which is subject to error and not always used mistakenly. Uh, no, 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 not at all. This is not going and frequently misinterpreted and derided. Okay, so mistakenly means wrongly and derided means uh, something which uh, with which we can like ridicule or mock or you can say we, po we poise fun at or like uh, we insult or torment. So in simple words we can say derided means insult. So we cannot put uh, insulted over here and frequently misinterpreted and insulted. No, this cannot go. Uh, let us uh, check option number B erratically and analyzed. If we put erratically, measurement is like any other human endeavor, a complex activity subject to error, not always used erratically. Now, erratically means uh, unpredictably, okay, in a manner that is not even or regular in pattern or movement. So, uh, like kind of irregular or unpredictable. Uh, so, uh, and analyzed means uh, like you are analyzing the thing, you are understanding the thing. So, if we put uh, erratically, measurement is like any other human endeavor, a complex activity which is subject to error, not always used, uh, not always used erratically. No, this won't go. Let us check number C, systematically and organized. If we put, uh, we know the meaning of systematically like in, in, like in an organized way in a routine manner and organized means like properly so if we put measurement is like any other human endeavor a complex activity which is subject to error not always used systematically 
uh, and frequently misinterpreted and organized so uh, no 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 misinterpreted they are talking about and then if we place organize it's just not going it's not making a proper sense what about number d innovatively and refined if i put measurement is like any other human endeavor a complex activity which is subject to error and uh, which is not always used innovatively innovatively means like uh, like introducing something new or something different all right so creating new things so innovatively uh, not always used innovatively and then putting and frequently misinterpreted and refined refined means to purify or to classify like kind of uh, pure so this also we can't put because it's not making any good meaning uh, it's not providing any good meaning to the sentence so this also is wrong what about number e properly and misunderstood properly means we all know like kind of properly you are doing that work or you are doing something what about misunderstood misunderstood means uh, some, someone was trying to say something and you misunderstood it so that's wrong uh, like that you have heard wrong so that is misunderstood or misunderstand if i put this option measurement is like any other human endeavor a complex activity subject to error so measurement is just like any other complex activity which is uh, which can go uh, or which can have errors not always used properly uh, and frequently misinterpreted and misunderstood so this is going quite correctly so we can say uh, this is correct and option number e is correct and i would be uh, talking about this sentence once again that measurement is just like any other um, uh, any other complex activity which is subjected to error like uh, anyone doing this activity can have error and if not used properly uh, it will be frequently like time to time it will be misinterpreted and also misunderstood so it is such a complex activity let us move over to uh, question number 14 in a revolutionary development in technology several manufacturers now make biodegradable forms of plastic some plastic six pack rings for example gradually dash when exposed to sunlight so uh, there has been some some kind of revolutionary development going on in the uh, field of technology and several manufacturers are now making biodegradable forms of um, uh, things of plastic of plastic they have mentioned and some are like the six uh, six pack rings plastic six pack rings for example gradually dash when exposed to sunlight so uh, you all know what is plastic so they are talking about plastic six pack rings so let us put these words which are provided below to uh, make our sentence complete now in a revolutionary development in technology several manufacturers now make biodegradable forms of plastic some plastic six pack rings for example gradually harden when exposed to sunlight no definitely uh, plastics won't get hard when they are exposed to sunlight so this is wrong what about second option stagnant stagnant means it uh, it stops to flow or it stops moving it will become stagnant and it will do nothing so if i put stagnant some six uh, some plastic six pack rings for example gradually stagnant when exposed to sunlight no this will not go plastics do, do not stagnate okay what about inflate inflate means you are you are pumping it up and it is like uh, uh, changing its shape like if i talk about balloons uh, pumping it will change its shape so in uh, a revolutionary uh, okay so i'm starting from here some plastic pack uh, six pack rings for example gradually inflate when exposed to sunlight no not at all uh, plastics will never in inflate uh, in the sun or in sunlight what about number d propagate propagate means uh, you are spreading something you are, you are uh, teaching something so if i put propagate for example gradually propagate okay they are talking about plastic six pack rings for example gradually propagate when exposed to sunlight no this won't go uh, like to spread you know uh, this won't go also what about number e the last option which is left in a revolutionary development in, techno in technology uh, several manufacturers now make biodegradable forms of plastic all right
some plastic six pack rings uh, for example uh, decompose decompose means like uh, they like uh, they mix up with the soil they break down into small particles and finally mix up with the soil um, so they are talking about biodegradable forms of plastic now what is what are biodegradable forms of plastic these are those kind of plastics which uh, finally gets mixed up with the soil and doesn't remain or accumulate on the soil so they they will decompose finally just like any other natural biodegradable things they will also de decompose with the soil so number e would be the correct option over here let us move to the last question of uh, today's class question number 15 question number 15 to alleviate the problem of contaminated chicken the study panel recommends that the federal government shift its inspection emphasis from cursory bird by bird visual checks to a more dash random sampling for bacterial and chemical contamination so they are talking about the problem of contaminated chicken contaminated means like uh, kind of uh, you know something impure is getting mixed with uh, the chickens or they are getting poisoned so that is contaminated alleviate means to make less or to reduce or to relieve you can say so the problem of contaminated chicken was being studied by the study panel and which is recommended by the federal government uh, now they are shifting the inspection from cursory birds now cursory means uh, hasty not thorough or detailed or sketchy you can say or superficial you can say they are talking about a more uh, proper inspection um, and uh, that can be done uh, by random sampling for bacterial and chemical contamination so if we have to check uh, the word list and put the correct word in the gaps provided now if we put the first word that is rigorous so if i put rigorous uh, to alleviate the problem of uh, contaminated chicken, uh, the study panel is recommending that the federal government shift uh, its inspection emphasis from cursory birds by um, like visual checks to a more rigorous sampling, random sampling. Rigorous means like strict. Now rigorous means kind of like extremely thorough or careful you can say or strict or severe or stern. So uh, basically we can say uh, rigorous means like severe or strict. All right. So they are talking about uh, the contaminated chicken being uh, severely or strictly checked. So they are talking about more, uh, more strict checkups of the chicken so that no one gets this uh, contaminated chicken and all but let us uh, find out any be better words also if we do not find then we will uh, stick to number a uh, what about perfunctory now perfunctory means kind of like carried out without any kind of uh, real interest or kind of real uh, effort you can say uh, or you can say it's quite quite rapid or careless way of uh, like checking uh, the the birds so, so perfunctory won't go because they are already talking about uh, moving over to a more strict uh, regime of checking. So perfunctory won't go because it means like, like very much casual. So this won't go at all. What about a symbolic? Symbolic uh, random sampling? No, this is not at all going. Symbolic means kind of having symbols and all. So this won't go at all symbolic is representative and also representative or symbolic random sampling won't go so i'm striking this out also what about number d discrete now discrete means kind of careful and prudent in one's like actions and you can say sensible or judicious or cautious you can also say uh, but uh, here they are not talking about cautious they were already cautious but they need to be more strict in their uh, sampling process because they need to uh, find out the bacterial and chemical contamination in the chicken so they need to be quite strict in their supervision so discrete won't go what about number e dubious now dubious means kind of hesitating or doubting you can say or undecided or uncertain 
or irresolute so in uh, dubious and simple words we can say doubt so uh, doubt or dubious random sampling isn't going so we are striking this out so the best option that would go is number a so that was the entire discussion for today's class we are going to meet once again in our next classes